What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people wanted me to speak on track. That's King Von manager saying King Von is the greatest gangster to ever live. Um, I mean, you can't knock nobody's definition. You know, that's that's not nitpick. Now, what you might think is gangster is not gangster to somebody. And what they think is gangster might not be gangster to you. I think that's a, you know, depending on who you are, you choose on how you feel about him saying that. I don't really got a problem with that. I think he could have worded it right. I'm not sure if everybody realized that this is an open case. Uh, Lil' Tim is fighting for his life. He never met King Von a day in his life. Proving King Von background as being a tough, malicious, crazy gangster, get back, thug, goon, is going to be vital for this case. And you going on black TV saying he the greatest gangster is kind of weird. I understand the part of gangsters take care of their family, get their homies opportunities and shit like that. I get that. But let's say he the greatest dad. Let's say he the greatest young dude to, 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 to grow up and do something with his life. Let's say he's a great example of starting out bad and doing wrong. We can't blame King Von for where he came from. He had no control over that. We can't blame him for how he's been acting since he was grown. But I don't really like the greatest gangster, you know. I think it was a lot of adjectives we could have put in front of there instead of using the word gangster, you know. Um, losing his life in the fight, missing out on the opportunity to take care of his family and be here and see his family grow. You know, I don't think we want to put gangster to that, you know. I think it's kind of sad if you ask me. A lot of you guys call it gangster. I call it sad. Um, this is an open case. We need to stop a trend. King Von is this killer, goon, thug. I think it's going to be bad uh, in the long run because I'm pretty sure Lil' Tim Lawyers is putting together uh, all the comments that you guys said about King Von. You know, they're going to have to prove that this dude was aggressive, that uh, Lil' Tim had no other choice but to shoot because this could have went left. Those interviews and everything is kind of proving that point. I'm not going to lie. But uh, I don't have no problem with him saying gangster. I understand we all have our own definitions. But I would have loved him to say, you know, he was the greatest dad to ever do this rap shit. You know, I can appreciate that more. Or kind of tell the kids how he started off bad and flipped that around to being one of the best upcoming successful artists. You know, gangster. I ain't really with that because I've seen a lot of people say that to Tupac. He's the greatest gangster that ever lived. You know, punching a guy who you had no business punching. You didn't know who that guy was affiliated. That was gang business that went on out there in Las Vegas. Tupac, a rapper, he jumped on the front line the same way King Von did and lost his life. I don't really think that was gangster, if you ask me. I think it was kind of unsmart and kind of sad that these guys lost their life. You know, they had an opportunity to help their family out for years and help their homeboys out for years. So, you know, I just wish you could have took the gangster word away. I fully understand what you mean by it, so I don't have no problem with that. But remember, this is an open case. Let's stop speaking to King Von like he was Al Capone if we want justice for him. Bitch. <laughs>